Okay, so I'm Overland. It is October 11th, 2019. I don't know what this new thing is with Instagram, but it causes that you have to pick a filter, or at least on my special phone, it causes that I need to pick a filter for it to, um, to record. So you guys know that I love the color yellow and that is why you have these sparkly little yellow things going on. Um, my last live was super heavy and so I do not want to be heavy in this one. And, um, and I just got back from my nephew's senior night. Um, playing football they won they actually won against one of his cousins that i don't even know if they've met but um it was nice to be around family friends and um it's been a while since i've been around a lot of my first cousins and um cousins in general and in our family cousins are pretty much second set of siblings we consider them our siblings um and so it was a beautiful thing. And then as I was laying here thinking, oh, what can I talk about? Um, the thing that I wanted to bring up was follow your heart. Follow your heart. Um, usually if you're from a huge family or you have a huge circle of friends, um, you could be put in a position where you're torn of where to be especially when things are scheduled on the same day and maybe you want to go to a birthday party but there's um, a girls night out or maybe you want to go to a baby shower but there's a wedding so how do you pick between the two um, and so if you're struggling with something like that no matter how old you are um, and if you're younger I would say always follow your heart it might not always turn out to be um, what you might have thought that night would have been by following your heart, but I can definitely say you'll be with the right people learning what you need to learn or experiencing what you need to learn, um, whether that's a good outcome or a bad outcome. And tonight for me, um, because I followed my heart between two places that I needed to be, um, I feel like I, I um, not only began to trust my instincts and trust my um, gut of where to be, I was just happier. Um, and so I got to spend time with my um, baby sister, her kids, our cousins, um, and our nephew, and to see his joy that he saw, not only his mom's side, but his um, father's side there. Um, hi, Eric. Um, it was nice. And another takeaway you can, going off of yesterday's video when I was um, passionate about talking about kids, um, in talking about his joy and seeing both sides of his family there supporting him, um, it just was more of a testament to me why we as adults need to show up for our kids, show up in being present when you're in their company, like mentally, emotionally, and physically, and just showing up when they have um, anything. It doesn't have to be a milestone thing. It doesn't have to be like a senior night or it doesn't have to be um, maybe a spelling bee. Just show up for them. And so I feel like myself is going to go back into that heavy state where I pretty much sounding like I'm yelling at you guys and trying to tell you what to do with your lives. But the only message I want to give today is follow your heart in whatever decisions you need to make. And for the rest of the weekend, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys.